Hi there, welcome to the Robot Program Challenge. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to share some of our favorite entries to our Robot Costume Challenge. Submissions came from students and educators, parents and makers, and we were so impressed by all of the great and fantastic work that was done that we decided to add a couple of extra prizes in addition to our grand prize of $500 in easy credit. Patrick's spooky entry, Wilson, has glowing eyes as well as a hood. Mike submitted this menacing ARC Reaper. ARC stands for Annoying Robotic Companion. Lal and Artemis are dressed up as Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. Steve even programmed new scripts so that they could animate the story for Halloween. Better to see you with, my dear. What big teeth you have. The better to meet you with, my dear. I got you now, little red riding hood. Help, help. Somebody help me. Northridge Middle School used the engineering design process to create JD11, based on the show Stranger Things. We look forward to seeing what they do as they program characteristics into their robot. Bruce was able to ask his robot, Brucey, what he was dressed as for Halloween. He chose the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. I am the plastic man from the movie The Wizard of Oz. You said you're the plastic man from the movie The Wizard of Oz? I think it should be the Tin Man from the movie The Wizard of Oz, don't you? I think it's the Tin Man. Mia and Seb created a beautifully sewn cape for Dorian, also known as Roboacula. Andrew created Gadget, a robotic gremlin dressed as the Flasher from the Gremlin movies. Andrew, this one gave me nightmares. Dan dressed up Odie and R2 as Han and Chewie from Star Wars. Miss Michaud's students used RoboScratch to program this adorable Becky cheerleader. William and Kurt from St. Martha's designed this detailed Kenshi costume from Mortal Kombat. Morrison High School got into the spirit of Halloween with this perfect robot kitty. All of our submissions showed a lot of imagination, and these two entries earned a special honorable mention. A special honorable mention goes to RULH Elementary's Grade 4 STEM Club, who submitted seven separate entries, all themed as superheroes. These entries included Lightning J, Flash J, Fireman, Supergirl, Super OKK, Super Dog, and Super Serbo. Congratulations to their teacher, Ms. Sonner, for inspiring so many young minds. Paula and Emily are 14 and 10 years old, and they earn a special honorable mention for their clever headless horse bot. They painted JD's head as a pumpkin and triggered his routine by saying, oh no, great work. We were blown away by all the creativity and innovation that we saw and we're really excited to announce the winners. 13-year-old Caleb earns $150 in easy credit for his perfectly programmed and synchronized choreography to Monster Mash. Josh created a robot-themed costume for his robot. He dressed up Rolly as an undead DRD robot inspired by the TV show Farscape. He earns $250 in easy credit for his innovation. Our grand prize winner of $500 in easy credit is this Ms. Frizzle robot submitted by Allison and Christina of the Cyber Mentor program. Ms. Frizzle is a great role model for learning and this costume shows a lot of thought, detail, and fun. Congratulations to all of the winners. From all of us at Easy Robot, thank you for participating in the Robot Costume Challenge. Keep watching the website for more challenges to come, and I'll see you next time.